Come here. So wait, you took it out of the packaging already? So Dylan, my fine Dylan over here. Okay, explain yourself. We're making high cocoa. <laughs> Dylan hates me. So Dylan was so adorable and bought this little hot cocoa mix with these little mushrooms. Oops. Mushrooms? I mean marshmallows. Little snowmen. And he's just been dying to try it. This is our oat milk. It's from Costco. So today Dylan and I went to the Spectrum to do some last minute, oh wow, do some last minute Christmas shopping. I, we bought a lot of things. I always am able to get everyone else gifts, but I'm never able to get my mom or dad gifts because I just feel like I'm just like, you gave me life, let me buy you this t-shirt. I just feel kind of uncomfortable buying them gifts because I feel like it's not good enough. So then I get them nothing. <laughs> I think that that's better. Just kidding, I got them something. I got my mom a sweater, it's pink. And I got my dad a shirt. <laughs> really spoiling them this year. I'm also planning on quitting my job, but I have not found another job yet. I have also not been job hunting, so that's probably why I haven't found another job. Yeah, in the meantime, while Dylan's doing our hot chocolate, I'll show you some of the things. This is a cup. It says Nom Nom, and it's Grogu. This is another one that we have. It's a whole set. Oh, and we have this little one. And my shoes. Oh, Dylan got me them. Also Grogu. My whole wardrobe is Grogu themed. My aunt just got me a Grogu robe for Christmas. I should have worn it. One of the teachers I work with gave me this plant. It's from Trader Joe's. When she first gave it to me, I thought she was giving me a celery stick. Like, I thought it was celery. And I was like, thank you so much. But it's actually this plant. I can't wait for it to grow. And another teacher I work with gave me this succulent. Because she obviously doesn't think that I know how to take care of plants. Hi, babes. Now we're watching Spider-Man. Dylan is obsessed with Spider-Man recently. Did you show him marshmallows? Okay, bye, babe. Whoa. Good morning, everyone. Today is Christmas Eve. I'm about to get my nails done. I'm gonna get dressed. Oh, this is my new baby Yoda robe. Look how cute. Okay. I made it to my nail appointment. I think I'm gonna take a bath after this. It's like kind of cold out. So for me, I feel like that's like perfect Christmas weather. One Christmas, I wore... <laughs> I wore like a fur coat, but it was like 85 degrees outside, but I like wore the fur coat the whole day because I was really committed to my outfit. It rained yesterday, and then today it's sprinkling a little, so I'm a fan. Okay, so I finished getting my nails done. I just got pink. Also, these leggings are amazing. They are from Old Navy, but they feel like Lululemon. Old Navy is truthfully popping off right now. If you have not been in there recently, you should go. I have not been in there in years, but I went in there the other day and 10 out of 10 was very impressed. They have like the puffer jackets, these leggings. Apparently their jeans are really good. Haven't gotten their jeans, but I heard about that. It rained while I was in my appointment. So that's cool. That was nice. Hello. It is 4.13 p.m. on Wednesday, December 29th. I've been sick since the day after Christmas, since Sunday. I think I, okay, why do I look like, okay. I think I just was like so stressed out for Christmas that I like got myself sick. I did take a COVID test a few days ago, it was negative. I think I just, I'm so exhausted. I think God, I think he saw that I was like tired and he was like, she needs to break, to take a break. So then he made me sick. And now I'm sick. So yeah, that humbled me real quick. But honestly, I don't mind it. Like, I hate being sick. My family never gets sick. Dylan barely gets sick. 
no one gets sick but like for some reason i have a horrible weak immune system so and i don't like being sick i don't handle it well at all i actually handle it very poorly probably worse than the average person due to a i'm a hypochondriac and b i'm extremely dramatic however i have not moved from this spot for the past four days seriously like well i've gotten my car to get covid tested and like that was it it's been kind of nice to be honest like all I've been doing is watching New Girl. I feel better today than I have been. The first day on Sunday, I felt super sick. Second day, I felt better. Third day, yesterday, I felt sick again. And then today, I feel better. I still sound sick and I still feel just tired, but I feel better. Yeah, so today, I updated my resume. <laughs> I ordered on Postmates a bunch of pressed juices from press juicery well actually dylan got me this one because i like it so much but it's the orange turmeric it has orange apple aloe vera turmeric lemon and black pepper and it literally to me just tastes like orange juice so i guess you have to like orange juice to like this but it's i really like it oh here's another thing to update you on i'm taking a month off drinking alcohol december 13th to january 13th random day i know but yeah, those dates I'm not drinking alcohol, so it's been fine. I haven't really missed it. The reason that I'm taking a break is just kind of for like an activity, like something to do. Two years ago in 2019, winter time. Okay, so me and Dylan had only been dating for like two months or something crazy. And my family invited him to come to Europe with us. And I was like a little bit sick over christmas because i'm always sick so i'm a little bit sick but i'm like i think i'm fine obviously we're going to europe we can't like cancel a trip last minute we get to europe i become deathly ill like i was so sick like if you scroll on my instagram and look at my europe photos like let me see if i can find one right now this is my top of the eiffel tower picture I was so sick. I cried walking up the Eiffel, like you have to walk up to the Eiffel Tower. I was crying because I thought I was gonna die. So anyway, so I was very sick in Europe. And yeah, I spent a lot of time in bed having night sweats and having a fever and coughing a lot. So that was that. It was still a nice trip. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, it was a nice trip. Oh, me and Dylan, he's been sleeping in a separate room for the past three nights. It's been very sad. I feel pretty lonely, to be honest. Like, I like being alone. I love being alone, actually. But there's something to be said about, like, physical, like, I don't know. Like, I don't, like, I now understand how, like, long distance that would be, like, really hard. Because it's been four days without me and Dylan, like, touching. We hugged today for the first time in four days. And sad oh so my point was we've been sleeping separate haven't come close to each other or anything like if he needs to talk to me we like stand far away from each other but then today this morning he woke up feeling sick so what was all that for so yeah that's about that um also i started my period this morning that was not super exciting so i'm just like are you freaking kidding me like i'm like like I'm already bedridden and now I'm like double bedridden. Like my uterus feels like it's like being like beaten with a bat kind of. Okay, so I have like a weird fear or it's not even a fear as much as it is like a phobia of like, this is gonna sound weird when I say it, but like of things inside me. Like I have an IUD and like I can't think about it for too long. Can't think about it. Or else I think about just like that freaks me out and I feel like I need to like get like I don't like that yeah and like the bleeding situation like where is it coming from I don't know it's raining outside which I'm really happy about I only like when it rains when I am inside my house like if I have to go to work or if I do like run errands or go somewhere i don't like when it rains because i don't like getting wet and also i just feel like i really appreciate the rain a lot more when i'm inside and like the fireplace is on and i'm like looking at the rain and i'm hearing it out the window it has been so nice to be able to lay in bed all day like i cannot tell you the last time that i like laid in bed 
all day for four days straight <laughs> or like slept in and like didn't have to do anything i just get like really stressed out and really i have like pretty bad anxiety especially over the holiday season i just like i think that i just get so anxious and overwhelmed that i get myself sick i think i mean also everyone i feel like gets sick over the holidays and over winter time because that's like flu season but yeah i just I, like exhaust myself mentally <laughs> not physically physically i don't really do anything i hope everyone had a merry christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate i hope you had a nice time and if you didn't i'm sorry i mean that sincerely you know the holidays are a tricky time because you know for some people the holidays are a really fun family oriented joyful time for others it can be an especially lonely sad you know depressing time and i totally acknowledge that and understand that so my heart goes out to you if you are struggling right now something that helps me when i'm having an off day or week or month is i kind of said it in my last video like saying what you're thankful for or thinking about what you're thankful for but if you even write down like if you're like you know if you have like seasonal depression and you're like really you know down in the dumps if you just like think of it or even write it down like five things you're thankful for but then also five things that you like about yourself I find that to be very beneficial and for the five things about yourself you can think of like looks but also i encourage you to think of things that are not about looks it's so easy to be critical of yourself but if you're thinking of good things or things that you like about yourself it almost opens your eyes to like how other people see you and then other people are not as critical of, of you as other people as you are of yourself does that make any sense i'm like really tired and i'm trying to end this with like a positive note but honestly i feel kind of delirious definition of delirious an acutely disturbed state of mind resulting from illness yeah delirious this company called bonfire contacted me a while ago and they were like if you want to design like a shirt or whatever blah blah, blah. And so then I designed like a little shirt and it says, I am proud of you. You can buy one if you want. They're pretty cute. I like them. I kind of thought to do that to say I am proud of you because I think there's a lot of days, I'd say probably most days where people don't tell you that they're proud of you. There's a lot of days where you don't hear, oh, good job. Oh, you're doing great. I see how hard you're working. And sometimes it's nice to hear it. It's just like a nice reminder that just because you're not hearing that people are proud of you doesn't mean A, they aren't proud of you or B, that you shouldn't just be proud of yourself. It's just like a acknowledgement from me that I am proud of you. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna go now because I'm kind of getting sweaty. Oh my gosh, this, I, I already talked about this before, but I live in this and I've gotten a lot of questions about it on my TikTok. It's the brand, The Udi, and it's literally like you're wearing a blanket. I'm pretty sure my coat is still good. It's Quincy 30. I hope everyone has a wonderful day or night or wherever you are. I hope you're having a wonderful time. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Okay, bye.